Hey, this is Ine. Welcome to this short video. And um, today I want to answer the question, um, how long does it take to learn to code? And um, of course, I will have a look at MQL4 and MQL5 programming because this is what this channel is mainly about. So programming of automated trading strategy uh, strategies, but you can pretty much take the um, statements from this video and yeah, uh, apply it to any other programming uh, related topic. So how long how long does it take to learn how to code? And this question is um, pretty much ha pretty much hard to answer because there is no general answer. You would first of all have to define what it means to be able to code. So. Does it mean that you can declare a variable? Does it mean that you know about control structures? Or does it mean that you are able to like work on corporate, uh, corporate programs that um, consist of 100 files? I mean, there are several, I think, um, steps that you have to take to um, become a programmer. So first of all, obviously, you have to learn the basics. And this is also the most important part, because once you learn the basics, you will be able to have a look at source code and understand it. So the, the basics are, um, for example, you have to know what variables are, you have to learn about control structures, you have to learn about operators, you have to learn like the basic framework of what you are trying to do or, or, or the basic framework that you, um, uh, that you need. For example, for MetaTrader programming, um, you would have to learn a little bit about the structure of the programs that you can write. For example, an expert advisor, so an automated um, trading program, it has several um, events or it can um, react to several events that are triggered by the MetaTrader platform itself. So for example, like the on tick function, the on init function, the on dnet function, and then in MetaTrader 5, you have a on trade transaction function. And these are things that you pretty much have to learn about first to um, be able to yeah, write programs and understand why they um, react in a specific way if something happens in the markets. So these are important things. So the, the, the basics, like the fundamental. And once you learn all the basics or once you know all the basics. I mean, you do not even have to like know everything like from your mind. You can always go back and look it up, but you have to understand the basics and you pretty much have to understand why things work or yeah, why things work like they do. And once you have these basics, I think you can already say that you are able to code because from this point on, of course, you, you only like touched a, a really small area of like programming, but everything that is on top pretty much is built on these basics. So for example, to, to give you another example, um, in MetaTrader 5, maybe you already watched one or two tutorials on this channel, we always used like the C-Trade class to open positions. And the C-Trade class is complex if you never work with object-oriented programming. So if you never work with object-oriented programming or if you do not understand the concept of object-oriented programming, the C-Trade class will confuse you and you will not understand it. But once you learn, like in general, what object-oriented programming is about and how it is structured and built, then you will maybe maybe you will not understand like the whole file and the whole C trade class, but you will understand how it is built and what 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 it means. So once you got got the basis uh, or the basics about object oriented programming, you will be able to understand what a class is and how you can use it, and it will not confuse you anymore. But still, there are of course like there might be 100 classes. And of course you do not know every single class, but this is not important at all because you know the, um, you, you know the basics. And if you are 
willing to use this class or if you have to use this class, uh, class, then you can read into it and you can read about the functions and what it does in specific. But um, yeah, and, and maybe if you if you use a class like the C-Track class uh, 10 times or 100 times, then of course you will not have to look it up again because you know all the things that are inside of this class. And this makes you a more advanced programmer because you do not have to look it up every single time you use this class. But even if you are not like on this advanced level, you will still be able to understand the class if you learn the programming basics or in, in this specific case, the, ba uh, the basics about object oriented programming. So let, let me sum this up like once you learn all the programming basics, you are already a programmer because you are able to read code and you are able to write code. Everything that comes on top of this is just pretty much a bonus and it makes you a more advanced programmer. But a more advanced programmer just in most cases just means that you can write code faster maybe and um, in some cases more efficient code. But these are like the only things that come with experience. But even if you only know the basics, you are still able to code. And this is important. And um, even if you are at a very uh, advanced level, you will still have to look things up frequently. So even I have to look in uh, forums, for example, um, from time to time to look for specific solutions. Because this is like completely normal in the life of a programmer. You, no programmer can know everything. Because this po topic is just too big. So no, no pro programmer knows everything. And this is something you should always keep in mind. So it is just important that you learn the basics and you can pretty much look up the rest. And um, how long does it, does it take to, to answer the initial question, to learn the basics? Um, it obviously depends on your own speed, but if you have a structured course, you will be able to learn like all the programming basics for MT5 programming, for example, in, let me say, a month. So you can, for example, um, check out the link below this video and you will find a link to a complete course for MT5 programming where you learn everything in a structured way. And if you work through, work yourself through all the videos, all the different topics, you will be able to write or to understand and write programs. And this will take several weeks, two or three weeks or a month. Of course, it depends on your own speed. And this means that after you finish this course, you will know all the relevant programming basics and the rest is then just, um, yeah, the rest is uh, just experience and this comes um, with the time. So um, just, just to learn the code, uh, to code, you will need, for example, um, yeah, you. in fact, you only need one good course or tutorial and this will take several weeks or a month. So this is it. Hope I was able to answer your question. So do not be afraid to start um, to learn programming. If you never had any contact to uh, programming before, check out some free tutorials on YouTube. Um, you have nothing to lose and I can only encourage you to do this because on the long run, it will help you. And especially when it comes to automated trading or trading, uh, you will benefit from coding like in a really big way. So um, yeah, thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time. Until then have a great time and good trades. Bye bye.